All right, T-Rex82 here. Welcome back to another Empyrean Galactic Creators Studio update. I've done a little work on the hover tank that I was working on recently, which is currently unnamed. And if any of you have a name out there, uh, feel free, drop it in the comments down below. I'll take a look at them and see if any of them stick. Uh, but I've done some work on it. It's starting to come along fairly well. I have made some drastic changes with it. And by that I mean it's no longer going to be an external cockpit. I'm actually going internal internal on this uh, based on the fact that I want to make this as I want to make it as hardy as possible. I want to make it so it can take a little bit of a beating. It's going to be difficult to do at a tier two. Um, I got to figure out if I don't I don't think I'm going to make this whole thing out of uh, the hardened steel. I think I'm going to pick and choose certain sections of it to give it a little bit extra of a buff, um, but also keep it still within that tier two range. I also have to figure out how I'm going to make this upgradable. I want to keep this so that I can actually upgrade this all the way to tier four. So it's going to be a lot of figuring out where I'm going to be able to place things like if we can fit in a shield generator at tier four, if we can uh, where I'm going to put all the core extensions and make them accessible for everybody to be able to do that. But I'm going to go ahead and just, without further ado, show you and see where we're at and tell you guys, tell me what you like. If you like what you see and you like seeing what I'm doing, please hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. But without further ado, here it is. So what I've done so far is, again, I took out the external cockpit altogether. We've gone internal on this. And I've actually widened it by two blocks. A uh, reason for that is when you have a three blocks width on anything and you put in one of these internal uh, cockpits, anytime that you're on an angle, it makes it very difficult to get around. So sometimes you can't even get out of the seat. So I've, I've gone ahead and winded, widened it two blocks to kind of hopefully take care of that. Um, I'm really starting to like the front of this. Uh, the front of this, I'm going for a very aggressive style. I want it to look like the armor wraps around that central cockpit to give it a little bit more protection. So as you can see here, uh, that is the front, the windows, which I have to, I have to realign them so that they're all the same color. And and uh, we'll get there. That's something I do at the very end. But I've moved this around in here just to kind of give it some depth give it so it almost looks like a set of armor on this thing uh, and I'm really liking the way it's starting to come out impartial right now to this I almost think of them like a bully bar uh, you see on like trucks and things like that the thing with this is and I I think a lot of people forget about this is when you start building with blocks even though this is a small half block it is actually as the game renders it it's a full block so the more of these that you have in front of you it does offer a little bit not the full protection of a full block but a little bit more protection so that's the way i think about it like these railings they're actually it's technically it's a full block in height so like your weapons can't shoot through it uh things like that but you also have to think on the other end of that correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure you're Incoming projectiles don't go through that as well. They'll have to hit that first, and then they can pass on by. So I, I, I always try to add those kind of things in my elements. A good example of that is the Pegasus CV that I did. Uh, I think it was last month or the month before. It's got a ton of layers on the side. Um, I want to say it's almost got four layers before you actually get to the hull of the ship. It doesn't look like it from the outside but it's actually there and i made sure i did everything so it was like hardened steel and then it went into uh just your regular steel and then into the lighter stuff as you get closer to the hull in those certain sections to save on weight so it turns out it's pretty effective so that's where we are with the front uh again this is still a basic shape it's a rough outline it's something that i'm going to go back in and add further details on uh you know pipes and and wires and and things like that it's just the typical thing that i do add a little bit more curvature in there wherever i can a little more cuts um where i think it's too solid i have a real big problem with having things with too many 
bare faces, if that makes any sense. I don't like it to have a big flat wall. Um, anybody can build a box. And actually, that's a pretty good challenge. I almost want to have a box and see what others can do with it. Shave it down, shape it, and see if that's a, a way that some builders might be able to actually come up with a lot of great ideas. I have a hard time doing that. I like to frame it out first and then refine it as I go. Um, but yeah, maybe maybe we'll do that in the future. So the front, not bad. Side, uh, I've got these little wings in here. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them. I kind of that's a theme that I run with with a lot. Like I did on the Chaos, I did it on the Atlas, I did it on uh, my Aether, um, the Nyx, then I did it on the Hades, a whole bunch of ones. It's something that I like to do. It just adds a little bit more of an interesting factor to it. Um, these are where I'm struggling, and I'm liking the the angle and the curves and the way it's coming out it's very hard to actually get this to look okay um it's going to be a lot of playing around with this to see what i can do uh actually i think on the other side i fixed it i did uh, i got to take these blocks out and, and make it look like it was over here so it's more flush um but i'm figuring it out not 100 percent sure that i'm 100 percent happy with it like this looks a little too shallow for me so i may beef this out a little bit uh make it a little bit bigger uh so that it gives it a little bit more of a, a heavier stance if you want to call it that but i kind of like the thruster housings uh, i like where it's going with that it's a lot of con conceptual stuff that i'm working on here to to see what works and what sticks now right now i have two turrets in here this lower one i think i'm going to keep this top one i think what i want to do with that is make it a look a little bit more tanky so what I'm going to do I think is flatten this out to be this level tuck these thrusters down so it looks like it kind of comes back into the hull but if you're familiar with my Taiki that I did which was kind of like the replica or the uh, it's not a replica it's a cross between the Star Citizen Vulture and the E-Venture um, I did a pretty good job of a layer effect and I think I can almost make this look like a turret by using the half blocks and the thin blocks to kind of give it a little bit of a lift off of this flat surface so it looks like it's uh, separate from it. Almost looks like it can rotate, but I think I'm going to do that so it looks like a separate portion of this. And then I'm going to build out the turret structure, maybe add in a couple of weapons. We'll see what we can do at the tier two. Um, I might be able to only add a couple, maybe just do rockets. That's an idea. Uh, but I think that's probably a good idea to do that. And I, I want to see what it's going to come out to, to look like. I ha I'm pretty confident that I can do it. Um, I'm going to make it angular so it follows the same shape as the front of this. So you can see I've got this angle here running as the same angle here. And it's very important style-wise to carry those. At least for me, it's it's very important to carry those same, same angles. It starts to get a little funky when... You start seeing builds where one slope is drastically different than another. Uh, it just doesn't look right. It doesn't look like it was almost designed from the standpoint of like a, a car manufacturer does. Uh, everything is designed to be lines sweep and they and they transition well and they it's something that carries over. You can see that a lot in if you're familiar with the Ford Mustang of old. So you look at a late 60s Ford Mustang versus what we have now. There are a lot of similarities. Um, it's also a little bit different. It's more the time. The same lines are there. The same basic lines are there and it's built upon that. So that's what I try to do. Uh, a lot of questions that I get is how do I get the ideas that I do? How did I settle on this style of ship or the things that I do? And the way I think about it is... I think of three different eras in space travel. Uh, one is where we currently are. Um, we're in the point where everything is very, very crude. It does what it needs to do to get us there and very crudely get us to point from point A to point B and do whatever experiments you have. And then on the far end of that, you have ships that are so advanced that you know, we'll say in the year, I don't know, 2,500. We're going to have ships, hopefully, at that point, that are very advanced. They're very purpose-built. 
streamlined, perfect for what they need to do. Where I tend to build is in that realm in between there. I want it to look like it has a little bit of a crude factor to it. Like we're still figuring out how to make things perfect. That's why I use a lot of pipes. That's why I use a lot of things like that. It's the kind of build that I feel comfortable with. It's, it's something, it's a style that I've really set upon. So I want it to look like it's a cross between those two and marry them together. So that's, that's to answer that question, that's kind of where I sit. I like to keep it in that genre, if you want to call it. Um, moving on to this, the back is something I'm still figuring out. Uh, the layout that I'm going to do. I think in order to make this fit everything that I need it to fit, I'm going to have to extend it. And I'm going to have to make it just a little bit longer. Maybe shield generator is either two or three blocks. So we'll say two for that. And then there are two blocks each on the extension. So I may extend this back by, by four blocks, four to six blocks, just to make it a little bit longer. Um, I do like the squatted stance on it right now, but I think I do need to make it just a little bit longer to give it a little bit more separation. Um, but yeah, that's where we are now. I want to do a quick little update on this for you guys. Uh, compared to my last video, like I said, it's very different from where I left it. Um, so just keep you guys following along and so you know where my head's at and, and where I'm going with it. If you like what you see, again, hit that subscribe button. I thank you all who have subscribed recently and from day one when I started doing this. I never dream of getting past 50 subscribers, let alone, I think right now I'm at 140. So thank you all very much. I, I, I couldn't be doing this without you guys. And I love all the feedback I get, negative and positive. Um, it's, all, it's all constructive, and, and I love that. So until next time, thank you all again, and keep your heads above the hard deck. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.